I got a couple questions for you. Are you sick of tiny little seeds? <laughs> Tired of having to come back and thin your seedlings out after sowing your seeds? Frustrated by poor seed germination? Not a big fan of crooked, crowded carrots? Would you like faster germination times? Then this episode is for you, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm Alan Schaefer at Custom Garden Solutions. A couple days ago, I did an episode on Salanova lettuce and mentioned that I was using pelleted seeds. I had some questions from viewers about what pelleted seeds are. In this exciting episode, I'm going to show you what pelleted seeds are and why, when, where, and how you might want to use them in your garden or on your farm. So now you may be saying, okay, Alan, you got me, so what the heck are pelleted seeds? Let me show you some of the pelleted Salanova seeds that I sowed in last week's episode. All right, so these come in a seed envelope, but inside the envelope, the pelleted seeds come in a little container. And I'll just go ahead and put these on this little tray. And as you can see, they're almost perfectly round. They're a little bit smaller than a BB, and that coating is kind of hard. It's, it's usually a clay-like substance. All right, so that's what they look like. And I'm gonna carefully put these back into the container. And then these are the red butter pelleted. Voila. All right, so now everybody knows what pelleted Salanova seeds look like. So pelleting is a process in which small or irregularly shaped seeds are coated with an inert clay-like material to make them round and uniform. Seeds are pelleted by tumbling them with a coating material and gradually adding moisture. Once the pelleted coating reaches the desired size, the pelleted seeds are cured or dried. So normally we're talking about frustrating small tiny little seeds like lettuce and carrots and parsley and celery or basil to name a few. But in addition to smaller seeds, some of the irregular shaped seeds like beets are sometimes pelleted so farmers can use automated seeders without the seeds getting stuck in the seeder. Pelleted seeds can be more uniformly spaced, either with a seeder or by hand, and even spacing prevents the need for thinning later on. When you use pelleted seeds, you get a row of lettuce in which no seed is wasted and is perfectly uniform, or a bed of carrots in which none are crowded or misshaped. Never have to go back and thin your crops again. Yay! With root and bulb crops such as onions, carrots, and parsnips, even spacing results in straighter, more uniform roots because each plant has the same amount of soil in which to grow. For this reason, the occurrence of small or deformed roots is much less common when using pelleted seeds. Pelleted seeds are often used for growing plugs. The pellets allow for easy and precise placement of one seed per plug. Try doing that with little lettuce seeds without a magnifying glass and tiny little hands. Let's talk about watering real quick. Pelleted seeds perform best with consistent, moderate soil moisture throughout the germination period. Usually, your initial watering will split or dissolve the pellet, but if the soil is allowed to dry out before germination period is over, the seed may receive insufficient moisture for optimal germination. Really, it's not that much different than non-pelleted seeds. You need to keep all kinds of seeds hydrated, so that's not much of a difference. When you shop at Johnny's or other seed stores, you may see NOP compliant pelleted seeds. When a product is NOP compliant, it means that it's met all the standards established by the United States Department of Agriculture's National Organic Program, or NOP. 
Pellets come in a variety of densities and sizes. Pellet densities range from low to medium to high, with low density pellets being the lightest and high density pellets being the heaviest. Pellets are sized in units based on 1 64th of one inch. For example, a size 13.0 pellet has a diameter equal to 13.0 times 1 64th, which is approximately 0.2 inches. Pelletine offers many advantages, but this process also shortens the shelf life of the seed. I recommend using pelleted seed within one year of purchase. If you need to store pelleted seeds until planting, protect them from the heat and humidity in a cool, dark, dry place. If you prefer to store the seed in the refrigerator, be sure to place the seed in an airtight container to protect it from fluctuations in humidity. In future episodes, I'll go a little deeper into pelleted seeds. I'll review what pelleted seed treatment is and what priming pelleted seeds is, so make sure to check them out. I'm Alan Schaefer at Custom Garden Solutions. Our channel is all about helping you grow herbs and vegetables and all kinds of cool garden stuff so that you can live a healthier and happier life. If you're new to our channel and you want to learn all about growing herbs and vegetables and all kinds of cool garden stuff, then start today by subscribing. And so you don't miss anything, hit the notification bell because you never know what I'm going to be talking about next. I spilled dirt all over the floor. Dirt all over the floor. I spilled dirt all over the floor. And now I got to get a vacuum. Spilled dirt all over the floor. Spilled dirt all over the floor. Tiny little hands, tiny little hands, tiny little hands. And now the unnamed pepper.